What's up, my name is Troubleshoot, welcome back to another guide. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to get your new Raspberry Pi working properly. If you plug it into a monitor, if you get the, say, Canakit or anything like that, you plug in the power, you plug in the mini HDMI to HDMI, then to your screen, of course, and you plug in the micro SD as well with the Raspberry Pi noobs or whatever installed, and your screen is black. What do we do? Well, whether it's completely black, as long as the Raspberry Pi is actually turning on and the HDMI cable actually works, or you see a flash of the Raspberry Pi OS as it starts up and then it goes black, preferably the second one, this video will show you how to fix it. All you need to do is take that micro SD card out of your Raspberry Pi and put it into your PC, whether it's directly or through the use of an adapter, so we can navigate through the files. Opening up my file explorer here, boot G is my Raspberry Pi, and inside of here we have all of the boot files for Raspberry Pi. Of course, you may have this in a boot folder. Anyways, navigate into here, we're looking for config.txt. Open this up with any text editor, such as say notepad, and we'll have this config file. Essentially, the reason it's not working is because the Raspberry Pi is trying to push a resolution that isn't compatible with your display. There is a simple solution, that's enabling HDMI my safe one for safe mode. Otherwise, preferably, we'll look for this section down here, HDMI group and HDMI mode. Uncomment to force a specific HDMI mode, this will force VGA. All that we need to do here is set the HDMI group to one and the HDMI mode 16. This is 1080p 60 FPS. When we save this and pull out the micro SD, put it back into our Raspberry Pi, the next time it tries to start up, it'll try and boot in 1920 by 1080. That's full HD and should be compatible with most displays. In the description down below, you'll find some extra information about why this works. elinux.org slash RPI config. Scrolling down, you'll see HDMI safe mode. When you set this on, it will force HDMI hot plug, set HDMI boost, set the group to two and mode to four. When you use HDMI safe instead of the specific configuration like we did, it changes all of these settings here as they show it. But if we scroll down to HDMI mode, you'll see a complete list of all of the different modes that are supported. So these are valid if HDMI group is one and scrolling down further, we have HDMI group two. Basically, HDMI defines the HDMI type. Group one is CEA, group two is DMT. You'll probably be using group one. What we're looking for here is obviously something that matches your display, say 1080p. So we want likely 60 Hertz, 1080i isn't what we want, 1080p. We can use HDMI mode 16. If I hit a control F to search, we're gonna be searching for say 720p. When we do so, it'll highlight all of the different versions of 720p from 60 to 50 Hertz, 100, 120, etc. And scrolling down under DMT, we'll get a few more options here as well, usually one or two. Super simple, essentially just hit Ctrl F, search for what you're looking for, and you should find something compatible here, or at least hopefully. Anyways, when you've done this, all we need to do is save this file, close it, pop out the SD card, pop it back into our Raspberry Pi, and when we start it up, things should hopefully be working properly. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Mine has been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.